Welcome back to We're Sleepy back. Time Hi. with TNC. We're gonna Sleepy take a nap time. now for 10 minutes and you're gonna Honestly, watch Sleepy. I wish I could take naps. Uh, we've talked about this side before on the show, but yeah, I know, it's real. <laughs> Tim's the only one who can take naps here. Yeah. Give us some of your power. Your sleepy power. No. I do that. take a nap, it ruins my entire sleep schedule. Oh. That's not I good. Nap. We'll just get you some z -Quil. I used to nap. <laughs> No more ZZ Quill. We're just gonna <laughs> pop it in your vein. We'll get you an IV drip. Yeah, I fucking learned the hard way that ZZ Quill's not good for you. I wish my yeah. mom would learn that because I think she does that too Does much. she take it every night? Because that's no. what I was doing for a week because I thought that'd be fine. Because it's like, oh yeah, it's a non habit forming drug. It says right on the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I looked up, I'm like, oh, I'm basically taking Benadryl before bed every night. Oh, and that's wow. why I've got brain fog. Like, I, I stopped taking it a couple days ago. And I felt like garbage for like the past like, two or three days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. She um, I'm like, yeah, I'm basically feeling like I'm going through withdrawal again. So uh, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Yeah. That's where. It's like, yeah, I got brain fog. <laughs> My mom doesn't do it like that, but she I just feel like she's too quick to take it, like NyQuil even, when she's like, yeah, yeah like she's got a sniffly nose. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, don't do that. It's because it, NyQuil rocks. That's the <laughs> problem. It's easy to get addicted to. Let's see what the psychopath's up to. Oh, don't worry about it. Everyone else, everyone's late from time to time. Besides, you've been working hard, so I think you deserve some slack. I guess so. I'm usually pretty punctual, but I just lost track of the time today. What made you forget the time? I thought we weren't here, never mind. Uh, it's a funny story, actually. I recently decided to learn how to play the piano, so I was practicing just now. That's in the original, right? Yeah. Okay. That's probably why I didn't notice the school bell going off. You can play the piano? That's quite impressive. I've always wanted to play an instrument myself. <laughs> it's not as cool as you make it out to be. I've only been playing for a little while, so I still got a ways to go before I'm any good. You should pick up an instrument too, Yuri. I could definitely see you playing the violin. Yeah, that's an instrument you can just pick up. <laughs> it sounds a lot like violence, that's uh, why. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much suits Yuri perfectly. Ah, the violin is a beautiful instrument, just like me. <laughs> I'm every woman. <laughs> it's all in me. Oh, I'm partial to sell the food as well. Sorry, I really got lost there. <laughs> Hmm, flutes can be calm and elegant, just like you. Why'd she go, mm. <laughs> mm, The better to taste you with, thank you. How's it like to play the piano? <laughs> that's what? just, that's probably a correct, but it just seems incorrect. How's it like? How, how's it like, bro? How's it like to play the piano? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wouldn't you say, like, what's it like to play the piano? Yeah. yeah. It's really an enjoyable <laughs> instrument to play. What's funny though is that the, a lot of the stuff that's written is actually written pretty decently. That's yeah. why like a line like that is weird. <laughs> Not to mention, I really love how it sounds. One moment it can sound gentle and soothing, the next powerful and full of force. The piano is an instrument that I'm familiar with too. Well, at least somewhat. My father had signed me up for piano lessons when I was younger. He'd been playing it since high school and wanted to pass his passion down to me. But I never really got into it. Considering that, you'd think I, I would hate the piano. But for some reason, I find myself internally cheering on Monica. Maybe because it reminds me of my father, in a way. Monica, you certainly are a talented individual. First starting your own club from the ground up and now picking a piano on a whim? I doubt I'd be able to do that. Oh, don't say that. Anyone can do amazing things as long as they have a passion for it. Which is why I think we're all going to do amazing at the festival. Oh, f <laughs> 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 She remembered. No. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be awesome. Look at teeth. I was going to say, her a smile literally looks unnatural on her. <laughs> they, they, like, Google search teeth. <laughs> like, cut it in here. Natsuki, weren't you just protesting the festival yesterday? Well, obviously I meant everything besides our part in the festival. I still don't like the idea of performing. 
Monica rolls her eyes. I don't want to start this whole debate over again either. But I am looking forward to everything else. It's a whole day of school where you can just run around and eat till you burst. Natsuki. I can see the eagerness in Natsuki's eyes. She must really like food. Kind of reminds me of a certain someone. Oh boy, where is that someone? Speaking of which, where is Sayori? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the back of the room, staring out the window. Oh, oh boy. I walk over to her. As I do, I hear the girls continue to converse behind me. Something about squid? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh... What did we say about this, Sayori? <laughs> when you space out again, you get the backhand. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, anything but the bruises. <laughs> Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Are you okay? She forces a smile. It's not very convincing. Of course I am, silly. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. You just seem a bit off today. Maybe I'm wrong, but... You got depression. <laughs> <laughs> My mind wanders back to what she asked me as we were walking home together. You worry t Oh, that's you. me! <laughs> <laughs> you worry too much, TCC. I'm fine, seriously. She shows me another smile, much bigger and more genuine. But it seems much more Sayori like. While it seems much more Sayori like, there's still something inside me that feels like something's up. Sayori must have noticed as she hastens to explain. To tell you the truth, I just didn't get much sleep last night. I'm really tired, so sorry if I'm a little cranky. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Seriously, though, I'm probably not much fun to, hang around, fun to hang around with right now. Why don't you spend some time with the others? I might try and have a little nap. Or a big nap. Big <laughs> sleep. <laughs> um, sure, okay. Just uh, know that if anything's bothering you, you can talk to me, okay? Your nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to see you suffering in silence. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> suffering might be a little strong of a word. <laughs> ah, well, you know what I mean. Sayori nods again, then shoos me away. As I wander off to talk to Monica, that feeling of uneasiness isn't going away. Maybe that's just how Sayori is these days. I mean, it's been a good few years since we've properly hung out together. Maybe she's changed. Deep down, I know that isn't the reason. Still, maybe Monica knows more than I do. After all, she's the president, right? I timidly approach her. She's shuffling through some papers at her desk. TCC, what's up? I decide to just jump right in. There's no point beating around the bush. What do you do to her? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, um... Have you noticed anything wrong with Sayori recently? Wrong! <laughs> what do you mean? Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's just she seems a little downcast today. So do you have any idea why she might be feeling off? Like, have you seen her act this way before? Hmm. No, I can't say I've ever seen her like this before. Yeah, she said she's just feeling tired because she didn't get much sleep. But to be honest, I'm not buying it. She's normally upbeat and cheerful. Her behavior has been so uncharacteristic. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down on her desk. Wait, didn't she say she was going to try and nap? Maybe there is something on her mind. My question, though, is why are you asking me, TCC? <laughs> <laughs> You've certainly known her longer than I have. Yeah, well, you've spent more time around her recently than I have with the club and all. I guess so. But I've never seen her dismiss me? Maybe she didn't exactly dismiss me, but it felt like she just wanted me to go on. She's literally said, get out of here! Did you <laughs> say I don't want you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just concerned for her, you know? I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, that's all. No, no. I appreciate you coming to me. It's really sweet how concerned you are for her. After all, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. 
And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Guys. Don't push her over the edge, Monica. <laughs> Come back next time and see if Monica can console Sayori. Or just rewrite her. Ooh. <laughs> Reprogram her. Alright. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Bye you guys. Yawning. <laughs>